Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon and Taurus Rising weekly tarot reading for September 10th to September 16, 2018 so I'm shuffling the cards again if you are interested in a personal reading with me um, all that you need to know is uh, my website it is uh, listed down below in the description of this video and there you can find um, the whole list of my services and as well the pricings for them so uh, that being said uh, this is going to be Tarot and Lenormand reading and first uh, we are going to go to the Tarot card spread which is the four position spread and the first position is about the topic of your week the second position it regards to the core of the situation third position is about the challenges that you have to overcome for the duration of the week and the last position here it's about the guidance that you um, can follow you know this is uh, the best the best course of action for the duration of the week so let's see what you got here Taurus is now the first card it is the ace of swords that regards to the topic so uh, that will be a clearance that you're going to have and under clearance I mean that a lot of situations which um, or not a lot maybe just one single situation which is kind of vague which you are buffled, uh, buffled upon it and which you are kind of try to figure a way how you know to make uh, the things up most likely or what toward what end that situation is unfolding will become clear to you now the ace of swords it's about um being able being capable to make uh accurate assessment upon either your career or upon either your relationship or as i said on a specific situation and based on that accurate uh, assessment here upon what the situation is uh, to take the appropriate actions so you can improve your personal circumstances regarding that specific topic so what we're talking about here Taurus says is that um, you will have a chance to make improvement into that uh, in this uh, particular week but I'm not saying that these measures that you have to take will be an easy measures alright when I say improvement most of the people oh great so I will have you know that easy opportunity to be take just one little thing just lifting my pinky finger here and magically miraculously everything is gonna start working out for me no most of the time the ace of swords regards to those kind of drastic measures you know actions that you would rather not want to take etc etc but very necessary here so you can kind of like get the upper hand take the edge take the edge over the situation and um, you know improve as I said your personal circumstances it is very important that it is very possible excuse me that that we could also refer to certain conversations you wanted to lead but you didn't have the courage or the guts to um, to raise your voice either with your supervisor you know or with uh, your boyfriend or a girlfriend etc etc but what I'm trying to say here is, is that that's such a situations which could have go either way now this week the way is going to be decided and it will be decided in your favor only if you have the courage to stand for yourself so you need to have a, a very strong backbone you have to stand for something when it comes to those confrontations that you will have in this particular week September 10th to September 16th 2018 and the core of the situation or why this is happening now we do have the page of cups that isn't the person here the page of cups talks about the reassessment of personal positions it talks about uh, finally being able to grasp the grand scheme of things, the, the, the bigger picture here, knowing that something has to change either into our environment, you know, or either into the way that we live our lives, uh, something into our relationship, something into our career, and we sense that this change is coming. And that's why we have to kind of negotiate our further positions. That's why we need to negotiate how the rules of the game 
will be when it comes to playing either career-wise or relationship-wise so we can feel ourselves or you can feel you, uh, yourself Taurus is fulfilled when that happens of course you don't want you know the things to change and you to be left the um, the final letter in the alphabet so everybody is um, emotionally fulfilled and whatever scratches are left they have been given to you you want to negotiate your very first seats when the change starts to happen so uh, when we do have that page here it is very important to kind of define how you feel about your personal commitments right now in this very moment how you feel about your job how you feel about your relationship and speak about it don't be afraid to speak about it don't be afraid to speak about your emotions don't be afraid to speak about what you hate uh, or what you love as well what you expect that is very important and how you see yourself into the future that is coming then the next card points to the challenges that you have to overcome here now that will be the page of wands very peculiar card so now you are afraid of the change for some reason or you are afraid of the process of that particular change and where where that change is going to end up because when it comes to the page of wands it, that card says that you have to be open for everything new that comes into your way but that is the challenge to be open for everything new that it is coming into your way and also the page of wands stands for that uh, you are strong on your own so it's going to be a challenging for you to face that particular change when um, on your own <clears throat> now this card uh, also it is associated with oppression especially if we're talking about career because the page of uh, wands is a very free spirit and if you are not the boss in your company if you're not the owner of your company or of your business as a, or your, of your business as a free spirit you can't thrive there because you have to you know follow a certain code of conduct uh, that your company established a certain rules you know or a certain rules as well into your relationship etc etc so that will be the challenge as well you know to kind of like direct your free spirit so it can align very well with either the work you do or the relationship that you are living in you know or um, for example again these uh, conversations here that you are going to lead uh, this week or the actions that you're gonna take they also have to be synchronized you know with a certain rules that you have to follow and that will be a challenge because you are a free spirit because you will be um, kind of like um, carefree should I say that way or you will want to express yourself more creatively while the situation may not allow you to do so the um, but the page of one sits about that you know how you're gonna fit in the grand scheme of things when the change starts to happen you know and that will seriously bothers you and I could suggest you here to not presume anything you know try to negotiate because it's all about that you know negotiating your further positions when that change hits you either career or relationship wise and thinking about it you know thinking the best uh, not the best but the worst case scenario here because the page uh, sitting into that position represents exactly that you know you are frantic because you don't know how this is going to affect you and that kind of uh, embarks a, a very negative thoughts into your mind you have to kind of um, wipe away banish those thoughts from your mind and stick to the uh, stick to the logic stick to what you know to be true and just have a strong spine stand uh, stand tall should I say that way and negotiate your way through either into your career or either into your relationship and the best possible way to do so that will be the Ten of Pentacles. So, Ten of Pentacles is about trust or gaining the trust into the people that you are negotiating with, career wise or relationship wise. Very important as well that you need to show that you are independent as well. Even if you are afraid to go independent, you need to show that you are not as. Um, as dependent as people think you are 
from them. So uh, again, you you need to kind of like um, show a great amount of um, of personal sovereignty and independence when uh, when it comes to negotiating, which speaks for only one thing. Uh, thing you should be pretty un uh, unyielding when it comes to your criteria of where you want to sit when the change hits. So uh, literally, uh, the example could be for um, regarding your relationship. Let's say you know, um, and you don't like certain things into your partner, and that speaks. These cards speaks for an ultimatum here, saying that if your partner doesn't change, well then the relationship cannot go any further. Or if you kind of like uh, see no improvement in your career and you're thinking about. Um, leaving your job you know that could be the very the very last attempt for you to make the things right there and you can confront your boss and ask them for a promotion saying that if there is no promotion coming then obviously you don't have any future into that company etc etc but the thing is that uh, this this week will be again repeating about negotiating your position in the future um, changes that are about to happen because they are coming here that is displayed by the page and you have to be unyielding about your criteria you have to show to the people that you're negotiating with that you can live without them as well that there is a life without them and uh, also you need to as well display a, a great amount of a personal sovereignty so uh, let's see now what the Lenormand has to say about an, an event happening in this week which is going to concern you and um, event that you should either look forward to or uh, event that you should rather try to avoid. Let's see what we got now. Alright, so the first card, that will be the dog, which, spe which is about loyalty, it's about friendship. Then we do have the star, which is a guidance and the right way forward. And then we do have the heart, which is about love and which is a, about commitment. So uh, <coughs> these cards from the Lenormand speaks that uh, the right way for you to kind of face the change coming here will come through the support of a loyal friend which loves you all right they will be um, unconditionally sitting behind you so um, and I think looking at these Norman cards is that this friend is going to have a, a very honest conversation with you because we do speak here for a, a guidance and it is made out of love all right and uh, when we do have on you and that with that friend having that conversation then you're going to understand what is the grand scheme of things you know how you fit in it and how you could have fit in it if you kind of like have a, a stronger spine that you are than you are showing right now either regarding your ex-boyfriend your husband you know your boss into your career or your supervisor or these cards could that Lenormand cards could mean as well one other thing is that a, a friend of yours will um, find its way to show you the love they have towards you and I talk about intimate love all right so you can realize that a, a friend of yours actually loves you intimately and they may want to make a relationship with you all right these cards are not pointing about relationship just not yet this is just you uh, coming to knowledge that someone has someone from your f circle you know has a, a feelings for you so that being said Tauruses this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for September 10 to September 16 2018 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and I hope that you can make sense of it. And again, if you're interested in a private reading with me, everything that you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.